Let's make history. The area that will become Maria Hernandez Park in Bushwick, Brooklyn wasn't always a park. It was owned by P.T. Barnum. And yes, that's the same P.T. Barnum as in Barnum and Bailey Circus, Ringling Brothers. And so they even held circus events. They held the circus in this area. And because of that, it already was known to draw a crowd. So the city purchased it in the late 1800s and officially made it into an actual park. And they called it Bushwick Park. And they will hold 4th of July celebrations, New Year's Eve celebrations. Fast forward to the 20th century when uh, the crack era was upon us. No one really called it Bushwick Park. Everybody in the area referred to it as Knickerbocker Park. It was severely crack infested and there was a Latin American woman named Maria Hernandez who was an activist and she would hold little events in and around the park trying to gain citywide awareness on the unsafe conditions because of all the drug dealing and shooting that was going on. Her husband took a slightly different approach. He took a more aggressive approach and actually got in a few scuffles with some of the dealers that would conduct their transactions in the park. And uh, he was stabbed on one occasion, shot on another occasion. Then one morning in 1989, a car drove by and someone started shooting inside their home on Star Street. Maria was struck and killed, unfortunately. Uh, and Mayor Koch, who was the mayor at the time, named the park after her in her honor. And thankfully there was a conviction. Someone in the neighborhood known locally as Willie Bundles was arrested and convicted. He also had a co-defendant. So him and another guy went down for it. And nowadays, it's still primarily a Puerto Rican neighborhood, but it's been heavily gentrified. And uh, one of the main activities that goes on in this park nowadays in the 21st century is it's used for dogs to actually have a social life. Dogs in the community, you can see their uh, owners chatting it up and socializing as the dogs do the same. I want to give a big shout out to Mike Figueroa, a very cool brother. He was uh, raised in this neighborhood in Bushwick in the 80s and 90s. He grew up here and saw a lot of this unfold.